Okay, so I just found this spot in Nakajima Park, and uh, yeah, here we have the new Sony A7 Mark III. But we're gonna look a bit deeper into the box, do a bit of unboxing, and then check out the body itself. Okay, so we're just gonna whiz through this, but this is the box itself. It's a significant upgrade from it, and even so, from the A7 Mark II, primarily around the number of focus points, pretty much in line with the new Sony A9, uh, Sony's flagship. 24 megapixels and up to 15 stops of dynamic range. Because it's the box, then you're not gonna find any lens here, just a few clean compartments on this side. For some reason, there's nothing in here. The Sony A7 strap the brick to be able to plug as an outlet and then the USB uh, ports and we have pretty much just a standard USB uh, to micro USB here is the Sony A7 Mark III Ah, wow, it already feels such a huge difference on the A7 and a refinement of the A7 II Alpha 7 Mark III got the normal E-mount cover for the uh, full frame 35mm sensor and straight away it already feels very solid in the hand uh, it's made out of magnesium and has a very premium feel to it much in line to the Sony A7R Mark III and the A9 so they've really upped the ante with the quality from the original a lot of changes uh, internally and also uh, on the top finally they have the video record button here a little joystick for that finer tuning of uh, manual focus points which is great your custom buttons there's four of them you have uh, c3 c4 and then on top c1 and c2 and then the evf i think you're looking at about 2.5 million pixels and then you have the hot shoe mount on the top for additional accessories like a microphone or anything in between the dial itself still has a spun radial uh, pattern and it's very substantial with the clicks which is great to make sure you know that you are on the right setting and of course we still have the exposure compensation and the rotary dial that's changed since the original and again it's very solid in the hand with each motion that you make they've extended the grip here and it actually curves towards the edge it contorts around your thumb much better and for me it feels great in the hands the hands are quite long and uh, thin so for me this wraps around perfectly this one is dedicated to the microphone the headphone in great for listening into the audio signals a micro HDMI out for outputting it to TVs and then down here micro USB but you also have the USB 3.1 the new type C sort of connection which transfers data at a much faster rate and also allows uh, tethering for live view plus charging and then on the right side here one of the big scribes I have is only having one SD card slot but Sony have added the dual slots you have the different indications of what memory cards they do support uh, so it's actually slot one that supports SDXC2 whereas the left is just your SDXC and Sony's own proprietary memory card uh, also would have been nice for them to have the full generations uh, to have the SDXC2 on both slots opens up so much more possibilities whether that's having one act as a backup to the other uh, separating your RAW and your JPEG on either cards or simply just being able to fill up one and then the rest without needing to change it over here we have your NFC and your wireless of course you can still wirelessly transmit your images so the battery again is also one of the biggest improvements to the A7 models and it is a huge battery look at that so the original is probably 60% the size of it maybe 50 this is the NPFZ100 and that's quoted to get you up to 710 shots so more than double that of the previous two generations and it's gonna be able to last you a lot longer uh, one can probably do a four-day shooting or you'd want to just have the uh, vertical grip on the bottom and have an additional battery but um, that's gonna make life a whole lot easier here we have a 4k steady shot inside so hardware wise a significant improvement uh, to the A7 series that Sony considers to be a basic model there's nothing really basic about it because there's some parts where it's in line with A9 uh, functionality 
the A7R Mark III functionality. You do have the same tilting screen, 3 inch LCD screen. It still covers about 90 degrees upwards and extends out a bit. Um, I've used the Sony cameras for a while and I found this can be useful when you are doing low shots um, or up in the air and you want to be able to tilt it down for viewing like so if you're doing portraits. Now, this is a blast from the past because on the right side here we have my current Sony A7 and then on the left side we have the A7R Mark III. You can see the body is uh, quite a bit bigger than the original. The hand grip was a bit too short so this one extends out more and then just a bit more thickness on the body but it's packing a lot of tech uh, between the two. There's no denying that the A7 III is just miles better with build quality. A7 is made out primarily of plastic whereas you have magnesium build. From the thicker body on the A7R Mark III then you get a few more inputs of your custom buttons and quite a bit more spacings on the button so so you still have the same dial placements and uh, on the back as well but the mode selection is a bit thicker on the A7 Mark III whereas the shutter and power button is actually on the grip itself. It feels a lot more natural uh, on the A7R Mark III because your hand is naturally pushing towards the front so ergonomically it feels nice in the hand when pressing it whereas on the A7 it's, it's much higher so your hand has to be a lot more vertical when pressing the button. But yeah, I wanted to just give you a quick look at the two cameras um, because from the first generation to now, it's just come a long way both in tech, build quality and Sony placing a lot more emphasis on the value and performance of the A7 where the disparity between the R series and the A9 is actually not as big compared to what they used to be. So that was a quick look at the Sony A7 Mark III. There's still so much to cover that I want to show you. The hardware, the software, the menus and also real life shooting for both photography and videos. If there's any particular videos that you want me to do on it, feel free to leave me a comment and send it through and I'll definitely do my best to show you. But otherwise, I'm really excited to put the A7 Mark III through its paces because there's just so much camera and the performance looks insane. It also have one of my favorite silent shutter shooting so if you need to be in a quiet setting then uh, I would I really want to push this as far as I can so thanks a lot for joining me I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick but detailed unboxing look at the Sony a7 mark 3 body you can find much more details that I write about and share my pictures for all the samples on my website at onetechtraveler.com thanks a lot guys I'll see you in the next video but until then keep being awesome